Hello, it is Ayikam time again. So I got a message which is challenging me to explain the body type of strength handling and the force flow type of strength handling in a scientific way. Okay. So the message is that since I do not like to use internal and I don't think internal uh, is that uh, that fuzzy I need to present clearly scientifically what is this body type and force flow type so everybody can know it and uh, I'm gonna do that today so here on everybody will know it okay there's no internal external or whatever uh, it is precise because we use physics as the reference Okay. Again, I want to say this here. I'm presenting here or sharing here this thing here, not that to make my lineage or uh, myself or anything superior. This is physics. This is scientific. I like all Wing Chuners and all Chinese martial art uh, practitioner to know this and to be able to have this develop okay before we go into the force flow type and uh, the body type let's go to physics in physics they are scalar and vector quantity scalar quantity is talking only about the magnitude and vector quantity will be it include the magnitude and directions this is very important okay so there's a scalar which is only deal with magnitude and there's a vector which is dealing with the magnitude and the directions okay it is in physics book now first so I categorize all those Chinese uh, martial art stuff into two categories. One is the body type of strength handling. Another one is the force flow type, or in the past I call it force line type of strength handling. Okay, this can be really easy uh, defined with physics, with scalar and. Uh, physical body and force so let's look at what is a body type of strength handling a body type of strength handling is one actually uh, have to move the body okay to uh, handle the directions of the strength move the body to handle the directions of the strength okay for example if I want to uh, do a sun punch okay a punch I generate the muscle strength here muscle strength and then I move my physical body in the directions how I want to punch okay so body type meaning the strength which is I generate with my muscle it is only on and off you generate or you don't generate you generate or you don't generate you use the move the movement of the physical to handle the directions if I want to punch forward I generate my muscle strength and I drive it to the directions I drive my physical body to the directions I want to hit of the target okay that is the body type so in the body type the muscle strength here it is a scalar 
quantity. It doesn't tell us about the directions. Whatever handling the directions is the physical body, the move of the physical body. And of course, the directions of the physical body is handled or guided by your intention. It's like the intention is like the GPS guiding the, gui uh, the, the, the missiles. Okay, so my mind guiding my physical body while the, my uh, muscle generate the strength and I punch forward so there is a body type of strength handling okay now with the body type of strength handling we know the term structure that is a body type of strength handling so what this the, uh, this, the structure do the structure is just holding the whole body to mimic like this rod. Okay? So it becomes like this rod. Okay? And then no matter what I push here, okay? Like this rod, I push here. It holds the rod and the, the, the strength is going to. Uh, 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 apply on the ground there or the the, the, uh, the, the the ground I'm pushing there okay that is structure you hold this thing so in the muscle strength level this is just a holding or not holding this is a scalar while this body the body the way how you shape the body or, or make a different geometry is directing that strength. In this case, become because uh, the body become like a rod here. So the strength I apply on one side is apply on the, the 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 other end of this pole to the ground. That is what a structure for. And you can see a lot of demonstrations in Wing Chun and in Tai Chi and so forth that people pushing and one is just holding the structure after they align their body or their spine or whatever into a certain shape and they took this, the, 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 the strength with this uh, mechanics down to the ground. Okay, so that is the body type. Another type of body type is you can see in internal art, push hand or tai chi and so forth is using the mechanical leverage. Okay, like there's one type usually people use is if this is my pivot point, this is my force, I do this kind of stuff. Okay, so I have the leverage using this mechanical advantages. Okay, so that is body type. This is not internal, if you want to classify in the Chinese term. This is all external because it's using mechanical stuff. And as we know, it is having the strength, the muscle strength, okay? And then moving the physical body to the directions we like it to be. Like a block, like a punch, like a, this, playing the mechanical leverage, or become a kind of uh, emulating a rod or a wreck, or triangle shapes or water tower shape or sphere or whatever, to play with the mechanical advantages. There's body type. Okay. So in the body type, the characteristic is the strength is only on and off. The body, which is aligned a certain way or uh, moving the certain way is doing the job. Okay? So the body is moving in the macro way with a big movement. Okay? Now, let's talk about the Force flow. Okay? The force flow 
of handling is handling the force vector directly, not via the body. Okay? So, one handling the force generated in the body or one to re uh, uh, redirect in the body with a macro macro movement of the physical okay but directly handling the force such as one pressing the uh, wooden dummy okay without moving much okay okay now because this is a force flow one need to know the basic the one the most basic is the action and reaction force because when i press it there's action and reaction force and if i want the force to go through my body in a different way or specific way i need to handle the pathway okay how is the muscle and the bones uh, form a path and how one sequence this path so that the action and reaction force can uh, flow in the body or use or utilize in the body okay so in the forceful path one directly handle the magnitude and the directions Oh, it is a vector handling of the force directly okay in the body type one handle the force only in terms of strength on and off the magnitude have no directions but the uh, using the movement of the body or formations of geometry to handle the directions okay now when one using the force flow way meaning one is not going to hold this body like a rock okay one is going to if this is somebody's body when the force apply to the person that this person here is going to handle or manipulate the action and reaction force handling the magnitude and the directions in the same time with the force without moving this body uh, physical body or uh, knit the body into holding into a certain geometry or moving in a certain directions okay so it is actually applied in a touch a contact okay with a very minimum or micro uh, uh, muscular muscle and the uh, 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 bone structure movement because uh, it is a dynamic flow uh, of how to sequence the the, the, the force and uh, it, uh, it is magnitude and its directions okay so that is what the force flow type it is about and from this we know physically the body type the body type is a basic level uh, la the force flow type is a level on top because now one dealing with the force both in the directions handling and the magnitude directly instead of you generate a strength and then you move the physical body okay which is the force uh, the the body type okay so a lot of our uh, internal art today or demo today in wing chun or in other uh, martial art is all mechanical and body type there is no training of the force flow. While the force flow training need the seven balls, 
or all the joints okay and uh, also I want to mention one thing very important here people keeping talking about uh, song or loose as internal you know what loose is just loose if one do not know about the action and reaction force handling the formations of the force flow path or the for, uh, or in other words is the the force vector sequential uh, uh, timing time how the uh, the, the, the force uh, generations or handling in sequential way song doesn't do anything at all okay so let's stop using song as a uh, as uh, some kinds of magic or mantra which is solve everything the world it doesn't okay, and this is law of physics and this is in we live in the in, in the in the physical reality world okay whatever I say here can be tested in lab and can be developed very fast within a week one be able to develop this clearly it's not like I need to sew and you can do it for 3,000 years and uh, you really don't know what is this going on okay so this is how far today we have the technology already okay what in the past cannot be expressed properly or accurately we can express it today with the uh, the, 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 the evolve of our physics and uh, technology and science okay now Xiu Lin Tao if we play it with clamping the EZ Kam Yong Ma and then like this Fok Sao we just tense everything using force and pulls this thing out you know that's body type they just generate strength hold on it and push it okay push the physical body or the limb for the direction handling so the muscle handling is only the magnitude and using the the limbs or the physical handling for the direction that is the body type or you hold on to it you know this is very clearly for the force flow type one need to be loose and then playing with the action and reaction force and the force flow or the force vector uh, uh, sequential path dynamic dynamically that is force flow training so in the Xiu Lim Tao practice okay it is no longer this or uh, holding but in a very smooth continuous and sequential very uh, smooth sequential way okay with a very detailed micro handling and of course you have to be loose because you only you lose uh, you can handle you can listen to the action and reaction force or sense the action and reaction force thus you will not be able to sense it and and it you will not get there if we keep practicing this type of using force and expect it to, to sense and expect it to handling the uh the, the, the force and uh, uh the, the the action reaction force because one really don't have idea on that level what happened on the what is action reaction force and how to sense those kind of stuff it's a level higher okay so this is what happened and uh if we train in the body type we are not going to get the force flow type of handling but if we train the force flow type we can always using the force flow type to emulate the body type okay and the force flow type have also one other name in the chinese martial art it's called the soft way thus when we want to do an inch power inch power or inch force or inching whatever it has to be in the force flow path it cannot be 
like you can see uh, people sometimes they just check the whole body for the uh, for, uh, for, for, for for deliver force that is not forceful part uh, forceful weight there's a body type they're using the body okay the fa jing they call it but that is still not jing they are using manual their body jing jing in Chinese is a force with the directions it is a vector it is this okay li no directions you just generate and then you use your body to handle the directions okay now speaking of mind power mind doesn't have much power beyond its realm in this physical world either one can train in their get trained in their body movement and then using their mind to, uh, to, 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 to direct the body movement or one train their spine or their bo uh, to, uh, joints or their bones and use their mind to handle that muscle or their spine or their bones mind do not have any magic mind is like a GPS in force flow, if one never train in action reaction force, how the formations of uh, the, 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 the force flow path and the sequence of the force vector and so forth, one have no idea how to handle it. One can have all one minds, one have, but one simply cannot do it because one just doesn't have the physical, the force handling to do it. So the important thing on the Forceful development is there has to be a process in Chinese called Kung Fu. Okay? So in Ayikam, I just I can tell you this. In Ayikam, even people know this theory and practice as you and so forth, there are different process to handling it. One is YKT0, which is open up the whole body's joints. That's YKT0. Okay? It never out in the YouTube. Only a few people who, 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 who learn that for now. Later probably it become a standard. Let's open up all joints. And then there is a circ process. Circ. Like the circ handkerchief, like the magic uh, the, the guy uh, the magician circ or the uh, the Chinese opera, the, the water sleeve, they have a sl uh, uh, play with the circ. That process is to fine-tune the joints of the body and then there's a wall process the third process which is the handling of the formations of the force flow plus action reaction force so forth in the whole body so you can run in the body you can flow in the body and then the last one is the ykt0 uh, ykt3s which is it is a full systematic comprehensive handling of the, spi uh, the, 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 the spiral and so forth and this is only uh, two people for now have that and uh, their student have that okay uh, then the two people is in America none in Europe yet or other other place on the world okay I can tell you it's Robert Chu have it uh, today for today and Navin have it for today none of my ex students have it complete because that deal with the breathing the chi flow the force flow and the spiral okay so this all exists and the ykt0 the circ process and the uh, wall process is what i call the basic force flow development you take Two three weeks to learn, and after that, one know how to handle a uh, 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 force work. Okay, so this is a reality, and for me, anybody who go through this uh, force flow uh, uh, process, uh, IE gum force flow uh, uh, handling pro uh, uh, process training, can go to any scientific lab. It doesn't have to meet anybody. Okay, even they don't have to meet me. They can just get the instructions and, and verification online, like an IOT. They can develop it, they can go to the lab, they can check for it. And the lab measure, okay? So this is scientific stuff, no more, no longer magic, no, no mysterious. We need to know what are we developing, the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the body type or the force flow type, okay?
and you need both okay because when we're handling momentum we need everything however for sure if we only have the body type when you get this close you don't have space you don't have uh, the, uh, the, the the mechanical leverage and so forth that is an issue that's why in Wing Chun stick body short strike it has to play with force wall and Xiu Lin Tao the meaning of the Xiu Lin Tao is the detailed training of detailed development yes it get to micro handling of the of the uh, of the muscle tendons and the joints my micro handling is not no longer this push it's just putting out there sense the action reaction force how you sense it, that thing to the whole body you want to go direct or spiral away and so forth that is your limb time. okay so this is uh for you today uh i hope that this make thing really really clear